greetings all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and welcome to the Thursday edition of Brian's Bible Break, the final edition for this week as we uh, will be celebrating Canada Day tomorrow and as a nod to that truth, uh, that reality, I figured it would be good to reflect on a verse from God's Word, from Scripture, that our forefathers who uh, built the Parliament buildings felt it appropriate to inscribe within the walls of our par Parliament building um, a verse from God's Word, from Psalm 72 and verse 8. So that's what we're going to reflect on this morning, and let's uh, begin with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you for this glorious day. We thank you, Lord, for your word, which has inspired and encouraged and strengthened us throughout all generations. And so, God, as we come this day to pause, to reflect, and to hear your still, small voice speaking to us, Lord, we pray that you would quiet within us any voice but your own in the name of Jesus Christ. In whose mighty and precious name we pray. Amen. So Psalm 72, verse 8. May he have dominion from sea to sea, and from the river to the end of ends of the earth. <clears throat> Excuse me. This uh, verse from, from God's word, as I said, is inscribed in the um, on the walls of the Peace Tower, <clears throat> excuse me, in Par on Parliament Hill, in our Parliament buildings. And it was inscribed when they were being built by, by men who felt it important to have God's Word reflected in the buildings that would house our nation's leaders. And it is an acknowledgement, a prayer, a, uh, a request of God on the, at the seat of our government, our national government, that God would have dominion from sea to sea. That God would direct and instruct and pour out his wisdom upon the leaders of our country. And so our forefathers took seriously their relationship with Almighty God, and they desired to have as part of our seat of government, seat of national government in Ottawa, God's word inscribed on the peace tower, these words of encouragement, that God throughout all history would have dominion from sea to sea. And here we are in 2022, and, and one could argue that our government isn't necessarily living faithfully to that prayer, to that word of Scripture. But it's not for us to judge. In fact, the Psalms tell us that we are to pray for our leaders. And so whether our leaders are God-fearing, God-following, um, God-seeking leaders or not, is not for us to judge. But we are to pray for them. And we're to pray for the, to the God who is to have dominion from sea to sea. And he is sovereign. Uh, the, the New Living Translation um, uses the word reign, which, which may in fact be a, a slightly better um, Ill, uh, image for what we're praying for here. But I wanted to use the, the wording that is actually inscribed on the tower. But the, the hope and the prayer of our forefathers and for us today is that God would be in control. God would be sovereign in our land. That Almighty God would be 
the ruler of our land and would pour out his wisdom upon our leaders and upon all the citizens that we, be, that we would be led by him. That the decisions that we make and the, the laws that we put in place and the, the things that we honor and uphold would be pleasing and acceptable to him. And friends, there are, there are a multitude of examples of things that, that cause the believer frustration and anger today. Things that our governments are doing and things that people are doing that, that do not honor God. One of the things that I've always been impressed with with our brothers and sisters to the south of us in the United States of America is how much they revere their national flag. And it is not acceptable in the United States of America to alter the American flag. I wish that was the case here in Canada, but sadly it is not. And our, our national flag, our Canadian flag has been altered and um, disrespected in ways that are shameful and sadden me because I am proud to be Canadian and I am proud of the maple leaf and our Canadian flag and it saddens me to see how people have have disgraced our flag and and um, and altered it for their own pleasure and I, and I say that because I believe in God's word that says he shall have dominion from sea to sea. That God will have dominion from sea to sea. And I still believe that. And yes, there are lots of examples of how people do not honor God, but there are also lots of examples of people who do honor God, who uphold his commands and walk in his presence and seek his face each and every day, who speak the truth of his word in love and with grace and mercy and compassion and kindness, but they don't, they don't diminish it and they don't abandon it. His word is on our lips and we proclaim it with our very lives because he is sovereign. He is the ruler of our lives and of our country. And whether you agree with that or not, or accept it or not, doesn't diminish the truth that God is sovereign over our land. And we serve him first and foremost, and we serve him alone. He is the one we worship. And so, friends, we have little control over the decisions that our government makes in Ottawa or indeed our provincial government, really. I mean, we get to vote once every four years or so, and and our vote um, is our democratic way of a, of um, showing our pleasure or displeasure with the decisions that our government has made. And so we need to pray each and every day that God would rule in their lives. Whether they know it or not, whether they acknowledge it or not, whether they accept it or not, we, I pray that God will rule in their lives and govern their decisions that they make so that he may be glorified. And friends, I encourage you to do that as well. And I encourage you, friends, as you celebrate Canada Day tomorrow, to pray. 
to pray to God. Yes, have fun and celebrate and watch fireworks and eat hot dogs and hamburgers and ice cream and all of the fun stuff that goes on on Canada Day. Absolutely, have fun. But don't forget to pray. Pray to the God who has dominion from sea to sea in this great land, this great country. Pray that God will reign supreme and will, and will direct the decisions and the thoughts of our leaders in this country. The, the decisions they make will be pleasing and acceptable to him. Pray that God will demonstrate his sovereignty over this nation. And pray that he will demonstrate his sovereignty over your life. So that we will not be found blameless. So that we will not be found at fault or, or to blame on the day of judgment. That we will be found blameless, faultless. That it will be become apparent that we did everything we could in the power of Holy Spirit to elevate the name of Jesus and to recognize God's sovereignty, his dominion from sea to sea. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you for this glorious day you've given us, Lord. And we're so grateful for your word, which encourages us and gives us hope. We thank you, God, that you are sovereign over this great nation, that you direct our steps, that you lead us in the way we should go. And we thank you, God, that you give us hearts of compassion and grace to show kindness and love towards one another. And Lord, though we don't necessarily like the things that we see taking place in our land these days, we know that you are in control and ultimately you will work everything for your glory and so god we commit this day to your care and your keeping we submit to your will being done that you may be glorified and that the name of jesus may be lifted on high and father god we worship you and adore you and we pray O oh god that our lives will reflect your grace will will be according to your will and will be pleasing and acceptable in your sight lord make your face shine before us lead us with your mighty and outstretched hand that we may walk humbly with you this day and every day in jesus precious name we pray amen well, friends, thanks for joining me this morning for this short reflection on God's Word. I hope that it has been an encouragement to you. I hope that you have a blessed Canada Day, um, doing whatever it is that, that you do to celebrate the birthday of this great nation. And I want to remind you also that this is the last Bible break for this week. Uh, we will be live streaming our service on this YouTube channel on Sunday morning. We invite you to join us for that live stream if you're not coming comfortable coming to church in person we are uh, open for in-person worship and we'll be delighted to have you join us on sunday morning at 10 a.m and uh, so friends have a blessed weekend um, be kind stay safe love generously as, as the lord has loved us generously and share the good news through word and deed in whatever way the lord leads you and so, friends, go in peace. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you his peace. And all God's people said together, Amen. Amen. We'll see you on Tuesday, friends. Bye for now.